Clean up on aisle three. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's February, the month of love. It's Valentine's Day. And when you think of Valentine's Day, you think of candy and not your loved ones, but you think of candy. And I think that's disgusting because I hate candy. So I think that we have to do something disgusting with the candy, which is why we have these cool chemicals over here. So we can do some really awesome sugar chemical reactions today. Now in the past we've used potassium nitrate and powdered sugar to make rocket fuel. If you want to check out one of those videos, it's going to be in one of the corners so you can definitely check out how we've done that. Kenan did an awesome video. And if you haven't watched the podcast yet, make sure you check out Kenan's podcast that's going to be down here in the description. But I want to see if we can use potassium nitrate and these conversation hearts and make it do the same thing. I also want to experiment with potassium permanganate, and this is very similar to potassium nitrate, but it gives it a little bit of a different reaction. So we're gonna put the two side by side, compare them, and talk about the difference that they produce. Along with that, we're gonna play with some sulfuric acid along the way and see what it does to sugar because it's kind of gnarly. First up, let's see what sulfuric acid does to different types of sugar. So I have a sugar block, we're going to do one of the candy hearts, we're gonna do some powdered sugar, and then I'm also gonna grind up some of these candy hearts so we can compare those and see what happens. So we have our granulated sugar cube, we have our conversation heart, we have a gummy sugar coated heart, and then we have powdered sugar, and then we have ground up candy hearts. And now we're gonna add sulfuric acid to them. And we can already see some color changes happening, which is really cool. So we can see our granulated sugar cube over here. Can use a little more as it soaks into the sugar cube. Our conversation hearts turn in colors a little bit, not nearly as quickly as our true sugar cube. Nothing is happening to this gummy guy, which is interesting. Our powdered sugar is starting to turn a little bit on the bottom. And so are these ground up conversation hearts. So what's happening in this reaction, you actually can see it happening right now on this sugar cube, is a dehydrating reaction. So the color goes from this color of basically a clear to a brownish to a black. And what's happening is the sulfuric acid is attacking and dehydrating the sugar molecules. And that, oh, it is angry. It's releasing water vapor and CO2. So what's happening in these sugar blocks is there's enough space for it to begin oozing that everything gets trapped in there and it wants to expand rapidly, which is what's happening here. The candy heart, on the other hand, everything is more compact. It's all pressed together. So it's harder to get to these pure sugar molecules. The same thing with our gummy heart here. You get that brown coating on the outside, but nothing of a great reaction like our sugar cube here. And the same is happening here. There's not enough surface area here and spaces for the reaction with the CO2 and the water vapor to expand and cause the expansion like we see in the first sugar cube. So now that we know what's going on here, we're gonna go ahead and take one of our mason jars, put some granulated sugar in it, and then we're going to add sulfuric acid on top, mix it together, and we're gonna watch the reaction take place on a much larger scale. So I wanted to give you guys an at-home version that you could do. So this is a granular sugar, and this is a sulfuric acid drain cleaner. And you can get this at your local hardware store, or you can order it through Amazon. And basically what you do is you're going to take this and you're gonna pour it in here, and you're going to mix it with a glass rod. I have a thermometer here that I'm going to mix it in with. And you're basically just going to watch this really awesome dehydrating reaction take place. Make sure you do it outside though because it does produce carbon dioxide and water molecules um, that are coming off and you just don't want those in your house. So we're going to go ahead and pour this in. You will immediately see a reaction kind of starting but don't worry you have enough time to stir it all in. So we had that pink color at first now we're getting this brown. I can already feel it starting to get a little bit tougher. This reaction does take a little bit and the sugar's already starting to become a different texture, much harder. And you know what? While this does its thing, we're gonna go inside and do another experiment and then come check out the results afterwards. While that reaction is taking place outside, we're gonna explore powdered sugar, powdered candy hearts, 
and pop perm. It creates a really beautiful fiery reaction and we're gonna put it to the test and put it up against potassium nitrate and see if we get the same reaction. What I think is really cool about the candy hearts is you can see the different colors and I wonder if that's going to play a part into the reaction itself. Very different textures, same amount, same quantity, just very, very different. This one is definitely more grainy and this one is more powdery, the powdered sugar, AKA powdered sugar. So now let's go ahead and we're gonna take our lighter and head outside and see what happens when we introduce fire to these guys. So if we're gonna do the powdered sugar first, watch that reaction and then we'll use that as our baseline compared to the um, ground up sugar. There she goes. It looks so cool. And so you can see a little bit in the flame, you can see the little white areas. That is the potassium reacting. It should be purple, but it looks a little bit more white outside than it does purple. Still super gnarly and awesome. I just love the glowing ember afterwards. It smells like a burnt marshmallow. I love this reaction because I personally think it's really cool because the sugar is feeding the reaction. And it has this really cool green residual afterwards which is pretty gnarly. We saw how energetic that reaction was. Let's go ahead and try our ground up candy hearts and see if we see any other different colors too. Way more white already and purple. I think these candy hearts are way more energetic than the regular ground up sugar. Like for sure way more energetic. Look at all the white in there. Look at it like explode at the side because it has so much energy. Now where our powdered sugar was straight powdered sugar, the difference in our candy heart is they have other materials in them as well that I think help energize the reaction. So the candy hearts are still cooling, actually both of them are still cooling down. But what I think is interesting is that their piles stayed the same. They didn't lose or gain any mass compared to other chemical reactions, how they gain or lose mass. These look like they stayed the exact same, um, which is kind of interesting that it yields the same before and after the experiment. Okay, so I just got our potassium permanganate and powdered sugar reaction from outside because it was cool enough to ring indoors. Look at the color difference. So this one has, yes, it has a really vibrant green along with this one, but for the candy hearts, the color is way more intense. You can see way more green, way more pink, orangey, burnt orange color, whatever you want to call this color. And I think that's really, really unique. So. I don't know if this has to do with the dyes in the candy, if we have lots of green hearts in there, or if it's just how this reaction went, but this is the second time I've done it and the second time I've seen this result. So I have to say the candy hearts, for me, was a way bigger reaction and a way better reaction than just your standard powdered sugar. This reaction was really cool, but this gives me a lot of hope that we're able to upgrade our rocket fuel by using candy hearts. And that reaction is ready to go outside, so let's go check it out. All right, so once again, our candied hearts. And then this is our original rocket fuel that we made on the channel forever ago. And we're gonna put it up against the candied heart reaction because I have a feeling we might have just upgraded the rocket fuel. Okay, so first we're gonna give a test to our normal rocket fuel, just powdered sugar and potassium nitrate. Let's give it a go. Oh no, they both went! Two different colors! This is fascinating! This is what I get for putting them both in the same jar. I will say, this one is burning longer. The candy hearts are burning longer. Ew! What a fun color! Oh! It's still going! The candy hearts are still going! 
guys, I think we might have just upgraded our rocket fuel um, using the candy hearts. Let me know in the comments if you are team candy hearts for making rockets or if you are team powdered sugar, our standard. I think we might have just upgraded it and I think we might need to give it a try. So let me know in the comments what team you're on. I am team candy hearts. That was awesome. That was so cool. They went at the same time, they ignited each other. And look at the residue. The powdered sugar, there's less of it, but the candy hearts was so much more aggressive. It also let off a different colored smoke. So you can see the white on the left side is our original rocket fuel, and on the right side, it burned a little bit more black. Definitely interesting, definitely fascinating. I think this could be a video. I don't know if this is gonna make it angry or what. Feels promising. That was terrifying. Clean up on aisle three. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's check out what happened with our granulated sugar and sulfuric acid drain cleaner. Amazing, like we got the best reaction. What we have left over here is a carbon and those pockets are where carbon dioxide and water vapor were trapped. And that's what makes it rapidly expand. So. You guys can touch this safely. I would definitely wear gloves though, just so it's not as messy. And it's really cool. I had a blast today playing with powdered sugar in some of my favorite chemicals. And honestly, I'm so surprised at what we discovered today with the candied heart powder and the potassium nitrate. So if you wanna see that turn into rocket fuel and put into a rocket that we can send up, let us know in the comments below because I would love to check it out. And if you're willing to check out some of our other videos, check them out along here. There's some of my favorite ones right here. Literally, this is my favorite one right now, so you should definitely check it out and give it a watch. Anyway guys, stay random. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.